Our adventure today starts here at Kathmandu International Airport in the country of Nepal. I'm simulating a real-world flight from here to Paro International Airport in the Kingdom of Bhutan. Truck Air, Royal Bhutan Airlines, performs this flight using an Airbus A319, like I have here. Paro International Airport is famous worldwide for having one of the most challenging approaches, being nestled at the base of the Himalayas. Let's join the audio I recorded as I prepared the plane for this flight. I'm about ready to program the MCDU using the diff strip mnemonic, or at least part of it. So right now we're looking at the data, everything's looking good there. Now we go to init for the I in diff strip, or the, at least the first I. We'll start with our airport codes, departure and destination, so VNKT for Kathmandu, VQPR for Paro, put that in from 2. Flight number, we are Dirk Air 5943, that's a real airline that flies into Paro, and a fake flight number. The cost index we can see here is 12, and then we're going to fly at 3300, 33,000 feet. And our temperature, if we go to our top of climb, we see we're at 18 over, that's pretty warm, uh, so we're into minus 33. So temperature minus 33 at cruising altitude, that is pretty warm. Hit align IRS. So that's the end of the first I. And then there's F for a flight plan. And we will depart from Kathmandu. Let's take a look at our flight here. So runway 2, we can see that here. Our departure is Igris 1 Bravo, so let's scroll up our departures, there it is, Igris 1 Bravo. Uh, to Igris, oh sorry, to Kimti, so it's, that's right there. Okay, so that's our departure procedure, we will then go insert that into our flight plan, which shows up in green here. Now at Kimti, we take Golf 348 to Subsu, so we'll tap Kimti, Airways, Golf 348 to Subsu, Subsu right there, and we'll insert that. Okay, so that's to Subsu, and now we'll do our arrival which is Subsu 1, arrival, uh, let's see, so we're on 33, I already chose RNAV 33 Yankee, let's get our star procedure, standard terminal arrival of Subsu 1 via PR888, no transition. So if we look, I'll enter VNKT. So first our airport, and then our departure of the Igris, and then VQPR. Which will have the arrival and our approach, our nav Yankee, and the airport. Okay, close that. So let's go to plan mode. We'll bring up our ND, our navigation display. Insert, okay. So, VNKT runway 2, here, and then we'll go to, through our departure procedure, uh, let's reduce so we can see how we leave. So here's runway 02, we make immediate left, 
head west and then turn almost all the way around to head east to the KTM VOR right here. Scroll up. And then that's KIMT. That's the end of our departure procedure. Then we'll get these uh, waypoints to Subsu. We'll make a start our approach here. And then PR888. We'll start our arrival procedure. Many waypoints. And then at PR712, right there, I'll take over manual control to make the approach to our airport at Paro. Runway 33. Okay, that's the end of the F of Disrip. Next is the uh, radio, which I won't program. Oh, I forgot. There's uh, the secondary flight plan, which I won't bother with. And then for the diffs, and then the R, I'm going to skip. And then the second I, we'll go to the second page. And I'll bring up that Talis ISCS. And we have a zero fuel weight of 56.9. Enter 56.9 and a CG 29.5. That's from here. Enter that in the top line. Block fuel is 6.3. 6.3. Then performance for the final P of disrip. I'll select uh, one plus flaps here and the active flight plan. So we have a V1 of 150. 150 goes into V1, a V rotate of 151, and a V2 of 153. Flaps 1, we don't, it doesn't, uh, the Airbus A319 doesn't pay attention to THS. Uh, flex temp right here, 51. That's to derate our engines to save some fuel. Okay, and so that's the end of this trip. And that is the end of programming our MCDU. Okay, and now let's get ready for engine start. We start by turning on the APU master, which brings up our APU page right here. And we need to wait for the flap to open. Uh, although in it looks like most real pilots just go ahead and punch the APU on right away because the the uh, computer will start the APU start as soon as the flap is open. There the flap is open and you can see the APU starting up. I'm going to get our weather right now because that takes a little while. Uh, X Enviro and we have QNH1016 so let's enter that here for switch to QNH mode. 1016. That changes it in all three places the way I have it configured. We're at 63% on the APU. Uh, let's see. And our assigned altitude of 33,000 feet. APU is almost ready. And it's available. So now let's turn off our external power. And the computer will automatically switch buses to the APU bus. And let's disconnect our GPU. Right there. Okay, and then we'll start our APU bleed. That'll let us start our engines. It also runs with the uh, air conditioning now that the external power is removed. Turn on the beacon lights and configure our pushback. Okay. Now the pushback truck does something a little weird here for some reason. I have no idea why. Or it sort of goes all over the place. So we'll just have to deal with that. It, we end up in basically the right place here.
Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. I am ready. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Okay, now let's select starter mode. And we'll start engines once uh, once we're pushing back. Let's take a look at the outside. Now we'll see the plane raise up a little. So connected and bypassed in and serve it. Release parking brake. Okay. There's our parking brake on the pedestal. We'll release. Starting pushback. And you may start engines. Okay. Like I said, this pushback goes a little crazy here for some reason. Okay, let's start engines. Confirm APU bleed is on, which it is. Starter is on, so let's start engine two. Outside the US, they usually start engine two first. Let's bring up our engine displays. So you can see N2, the speed of the core is coming up. That's a percent. So we wait for a light off. The FADEX system will start that automatically. Getting lots of air through the engine before we introduce fuel. There we have light off. That's uh, our uh, engine temperature. Now we'll just wait for the avail. N2 is the speed of the fan that you see in the front. Let's see where we are. Okay, we're getting there, that the rain has started. Okay, so it says avail. We can start engine one now. Okay, you can hear the uh, power transfer unit barking as, the, uh, as it pressurizes the hydraulic system. And two's coming up, we'll wait for a light off. There's light off as the EGT comes up rapidly. Operation complete. Set parking brake. Okay, set the parking brake. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Okay, we just heard the electrical bus switch over to the engines. Both engines are now available. Okay, so let's turn off the ignition. And let's turn off APU bleed. Pack flow is on. So now the air conditioning is being run by the... Uh, uh, main engines set APU master to off. Always disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the right. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Thanks for the safe push. All right, we'll set flaps one. We'll arm the speed brakes. Reset rudder trim. Okay, he's showing us the pin. Let's flash our uh, turn off lights to let him know we've seen that he has the uh, pin for the landing gear. Check our controls. Either on left, either on right. Elevators down. Elevators up. Rudder right. Rudder left. So everything's good, and that's not just. Uh, uh, to simulate real live, that's to make sure our uh, controls are connected over USB properly. Okay, let's turn off our or turn on our taxi lights to taxi. 
Runway turnoff is on. Need to set our outer brakes to max in case we have a rejected takeoff. You can see a few items on our checklist. I thought I clicked that. There we go. Hit takeoff config and call the cabin. Okay. All checklist items checked. That's taxi to the end of runway two. Parking brake off. Okay, let's get our landing lights turned on. Strobes on. Wing on. Taxi to take off. Okay. Parking brake off. Let's back taxi. Okay, runway clear, and runway clear, looks like approach is clear, We'll line up and wait here. Checklist is all done there. Controls displayed. TARA. Let's get our timer started. Okay, all our light switches on. So we're ready to go. So we got our takeoff clearance. We'll set our throttles to 50%. Release brakes. Go to man flex. SRS South of is blue. Get this under control here. Gotta wait for our V1. V1, hands off throttle, rotate. Positive rate, gear up. Start our left turn here, follow the flight director. Let's bring that up. Need to follow it a little better there. Set our autopilot. Set 
disarm our brakes. No flaps. No more ground contact. And again, we need to go to level climb, throttle level climb. Out of the rain now. There's some spectacular clouds over there. So Mount Everest is out there somewhere? Might be under clouds. Or in the clouds. I've started the approach into Paro, and you can see from the Jefferson chart that this is a winding path. And right now we're about to hit PR738, and I'm currently following the GPS waypoints on autopilot, but by the time we get to PR712, I'll switch autopilot off and fly manually until we arrive at the threshold of Paro International. I'm now two waypoints away from Pyro 712, so it's time to drop the gears. Things happen fast on this approach, so before we get to PR 712, I want to adjust the speed down to 145 or 144. Our approach speed is 137 and our landing speed is 132, so got to get ready for that. I've now passed PR712, so it's time to turn off autopilot and manually fly all the way to the threshold. It keeps giving me an auto throttle warning, so I'll just turn that off and manage the throttles manually as well. You can see I'm descending at well over 2,000 feet per minute, which is very steep but we need to go a lot of altitude here. Caution terrain. Caution terrain. To turn off those oral warnings, I've turned off Chipwiz for the ground proximity Caution warning system. Terrain. I still managed to get those warnings, so I'm not sure if that's not modeled in this Talus or Caution if terrain. I did something wrong there. Caution terrain. Watching my speed here, I have plenty of speed to kill Caution there as terrain. well.
Caution terrain. Caution terrain. In real life, this is a captain's only approach. And you're not allowed to fly this approach at night or in instrument meteorological conditions. I was losing a little too much speed here, so I'm throttling up and you can hear that. Now you can see the airport come into view right in the middle of the glare shield on my side here. And a good guide to altitude is to come very low over the hill on the left here and then very low over the hill coming up on the right. There aren't really trees before the threshold in real life, so you can ignore those here. A lot of times I have trouble with directional control while under reversers in this model. I'm not sure why. And I was so distracted by everything happening here that I forgot to release auto brakes, I forgot to retract the spoilers, and I forgot to retract the flaps. I did somehow manage to remember to turn on the APU though. Let's take a moment to relive that. <laughs> 